If your flash drive or pen drive gives you error messages, then this video is best for you. I have these two flash drives with different problems. One is unable to complete the format process and the other one does not show up properly. If you have symptoms such as these on the screen or your flash drive does not show up properly, then please follow this tutorial to the end. I will also show you all the different ways to repair other storage devices such as SD cards, fake flash drives and many more at the end of this video. I'm also going to show you another way to attempt to fix your flash drive in case this method does not work for you. Most problems of USB flash drive of this nature is as a result of corrupted firmware or programs that controls the flash drive. All that you need to do is just to reinstall the programs to correct the problem. Please kindly note that if your flash drive contains any valuable data, then please get help from a professional because this process erases all data from the flash drive. So with that being said, let's start. I have inserted one of the flash drives. But it does not show up in my computer. Now let's examine the flash drive very carefully. It shows no media, but the drive letter is present. But there are other circumstances the drive letter will not even show. So I will run a command prompt to check the status of the drive. So here I will type the following commands you see on the screen. Disk path and press enter key. After that I type list disk and press enter key. Now these two commands will show all the available disks on your computer. And here you can see my disk 2 which is my USB flash drive shows no media. 0 bytes in size and 0 bytes in free space. Now let's confirm. So you can see the information between disk management and command prompt is the same. Now let's fix the drive. Open any browser of your choice and search for cheap genius. Here you can choose to open the first or second link. I will select the second link because it is the official page of cheap genius. Download the software. This software will help us to identify the flash drive chip path number so that we can download the firmware to reset the drive. After download is completed, unzip the drive and run the application. Now run the application and wait for Chip Genius to load your drive information. Now these are the informations of the flash drive. Highlight and right click on it and it will copy to your clipboard. Now open any text document and paste it there. All that we need is a controller vendor, controller part number, and sometimes VID and PID. So let's search with the controller vendor, which is US Best, then part number UT165A0E. Again, check whether the search results matches with the information of your drive. This is the easiest way to search for the right firmware for your flash drive. Now scroll down and download from any of the links.
follow the on-screen instructions to download the firmware. Now, extract the files and run the application. You can see the size of the flash drive which is 2 GB. Please observe very carefully. I will click on update to flash the firmware and let's see what happens. At this point, wait for the flashing process to complete. Now, let me unplug and reinsert the flash drive again. You can see the size of the flash drive now showing. Finally, the flash drive is restored. Now, let's fix the other flash drive. This one is going to take a different approach. I have inserted the drive and you can see the drive is present. I'm trying to open the drive by getting this error. Now let's format it and see what happens. As you can see, Windows is unable to complete the format. I run Chip Genius. Here, observe carefully, it seems the controller part number is unknown. How do we fix this? There is one more approach we can use, but before that, please take note that this process only works for a normal or standard USB flash drive and not a micro USB flash drive or a memory card. These are examples of standard USB flash drives. Examples of micro USB flash drives. The reason why this approach is not applicable to a micro USB flash drive is because micro USB flash drive and memory card have a single or integrated controller chip for the USB controller and the storage chip. Unlike the standard USB flash drive which has multiple chips, that is the controller and storage chip. So here we will disassemble the flash drive as demonstrated in the video. Now, this is the storage or memory chip. It is a 64 GB storage chip. And this is the controller chip. And we can find the part number written on it. Just observe carefully. It is fixing PS2251-70-25. This is all that we need to search for the controller firmware. Now, I will google with the controller part number.
I have similar results in the second link, so I'll click on it. I will click here to download the firmware. After that, I will unzip the file and run the application. Now, the flash drive has been detected by the mass production software and ready to flash the USB flash drive. One last tip, in case you open the mass production software and the flash drive is not detected, you can click on the drive letter or change ports. After that, you enter the PID and VID values and click start to start the flashing process. Now, let me show you the different ways to recover other storage devices. I will leave the link in the description below for you to check it out. So that's the end of today's tutorial. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you promptly. Also give this video a thumbs up if you find it useful. Share it to anyone you think might need it. Consider subscribing if you wish to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.